the spark's still playing me right now. Um, I have been getting trash orders. And this. And this. Hey, what's up you guys? And welcome to a brand new spark video. My name is Lana for those that are new. And if you are returning, welcome back you guys. Today, we're doing something different. And I'm starting off the vlog different. You know why? Because Spark's still playing me right now. Um, I turned my app on at 2.20 and I did not get anything. So, I was like, you know what? Let me go ahead and check DoorDash. Checked DoorDash and I was actually able to get on. So, we are doing our first DoorDash. I forgot to take a screenshot, but I will take one after I finish. Um, but it was $6.25 going 4.9 miles KFC. As you guys can see, I just got back from the food. It was a little wait but um nothing too major so we are about to go ahead drop this off and then we'll see what else we can get you guys We got that DoorDash order delivered, easy peasy. Um, it ended up being 6.20, well it was 6.25. After that order, it was like three o'clock so I decided to head up to the Walmart so I would be in good proximity to an order. And we got this order right here. $25.15 going 5.9 miles. It is a shop and deliver, 17 items. Not too, not too bad. Um, so we're at the Walmart right now. So I'm gonna go ahead, head on in, get this stuff shopped for it, and I'll be right back. See, this is why I like shop and deliver orders. I got the order at like 310, got to the store around 320, and I'm done shopping and it's 338. And if I was doing a curbside order, I would still be over there waiting to check in, you guys. So we are on our way to our delivery. Um, how many miles did it say? I forgot. I think five miles or something like that. 12 minutes. All right, you guys. I'll see y'all at the drop off. The, the hardest thing to figure out if you want to take an order when it's close to the next drop, like it's 405, and I just got this um, ASAP curbside order. It's $9.65, so I mean, nothing great, but it's only going 3.1 miles. So I could literally do this super quick, but the thing is, if they have me waiting, then I'm definitely going to miss the next drop. So I think... I'm gonna just skip this because like I said, it's only nine dollars, so nothing major. But um, yeah, you guys, I just got done dropping off that shop and deliver order. We are back at the store, it is 405. Like I said, when you have shop and deliver orders, you get done super quick, which is which can be a good thing, and it can kind of be a downside at the same time. The good part about it is that you are in a better position to receive um another order. So, like, I got done with the order, I think it was $3.56. So, if it was busy in my market, then I could have picked up an ASAP order, an express order, or whatever they were throwing at me. Um, but, like I said, it's kind of slower right now since it's January. So, I'm back up at the store, and now I have to wait till my next order. So, I always make sure I bring something to keep me entertained. Most of the time, it is a book, and I'm going to share with you guys the book that I'm reading this month. Um... I am, I am reading the 12 week year. This is a good book so far. Basically it's about how to be more productive, how to get more things done. And then I watch YouTube and I reply to y'all comments and all of that stuff. So, but the first order that we accepted was good. No complaints at all. That's a nice and easy order. But I have been getting trash orders like this and this and this. So y'all already know where those go in the garbage. We're not taking those. Uh -uh. Um, I know I said in the last video that I was trying to accept every order, but like I said, it it gotta make sense. And those orders weren't making any type of sense to me. So mm -mm. Um, it's 409. I got my next order. 
it is a, another shop and deliver so today might be a shop and deliver day but i'm all for it because like i said the pay is a little bit better and it's only one order so we got a 18 dollar and 79 cent going 5.4 miles it is 14 items it doesn't look like anything too crazy so i think i'm gonna go ahead and accept it so i'm not waiting around and chancing that i don't get another order okay we're taking the orders that make sense so we're gonna go ahead and accept this i'm already at the walmart so i'm just gonna go ahead and and pull to the um, pull to the grocery side and it says start shopping by 434 um, and it should take 26 minutes I'm already here it's 410 so we'll probably be done shopping by about 430 so this will again put me in a position to get another order hopefully I get another order afterwards I'm, I'm happy today okay spark okay let's go That shop and deliver order was easy. Dropped it off. It is 447. So we're in a good position to hopefully get another order. That's my goal this hour. I want to get another order so I can maximize my hour. Because like I said, normally 447, that's when you would just be checking in and waiting for your order. And I'm already done. So hopefully we can get an ASAP, we can get an express that is worth it or something. Uh-oh, we got something coming in. $12, two drop-offs going 6.1 miles. It is an apartment, two apartments. So yeah, no, we're not doing that. I feel like for me, I have to have at least $20 if I'm gonna do apartments. Apartments with like multiple, like more than 20 items, it gotta be 20, cause, mm -mm. All right, you guys, as you can tell, it's dark, so sorry about the lighting, um, but I did want to share with you guys that we did get a curbside order. It was $16.42, going 7.4 miles, one drop off. So we just completed that. Back up at the Walmart, it is 6.22. I did get a shop and deliver order, um, but it was like $15 for like, I think 10 things and it was going like 8.5 miles. So I decided not to take that. We're getting another one. Let's see, 8.5 miles, $17 and one cent. Isn't the best, but it's not the worst either. I was going to the city that I don't like to go to at night, so I'm not gonna take this order new this isn't a bad order it's twenty dollars and 74 cents going eight miles but one order is going to an apartment um on the eighth floor and i know exactly where this apartment is and this apartment is not the safest so just off of that i can't accept it because like i said some of the orders be good but if i feel like it'll put me in a situation where i feel like unsafe or uneasy i'm not gonna do it because i'm not about to you know i'm not about to let nothing happen to me over 20 dollars. like mm, nah somebody's gonna have that all right you guys i'm gonna go ahead and call it quits for the day because honestly the orders that i was getting for this hour are trash and it's getting dark and I just don't want to work no more. So today was a pretty good day. I will say Spark redeemed itself a little, little bit. I have seen way more orders today than I was seeing. Um, tomorrow is Wednesday and it's supposed to be a winter storm in my area. I think we're supposed to get between six to eight inches. So 
I probably will not be working in that, but I will be back out Thursday, hopefully. If not Thursday, Friday for sure. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Let me know that you liked it and comment below. And let me know that you made it to the end of the video by leaving me any type of money emoji. Okay, you guys? All right, I'll see you guys on Tuesday for a new video. Bye.